The Octonauts and the Lost Sea Star. Wonderful. Another shell for our research, Captain. Let's measure it. Here's the biggest one yet, Shellington. Look, there's a little sea star stuck to this one. Oh, yeah! Don't be frightened, little sea star. We're the Octonauts. Who are you? How interesting. You don't look like the other sea stars in this rock pool. Your arms are longer and you're a different colour. Well, actually, I don't live here. I kind of, I sort of got lost. Oh. Then let's help you get found. To the octopod. All I remember is I was crawling and then a big underwater wave picked me up and it dropped me on that beach. Maybe if we knew what kind of sea star you are, we could work out where you come from. The problem is, there are nearly 2,000 kinds of sea star, and they live in every part of the ocean, from the top to the very bottom. So how will we find her home? We'll have to look in a lot of places, Peso, and some of them could be dangerous, me hearties. Very dangerous. I miss my family. And they must be so worried about me. I want to go home. On my honor as an octonaut, I promise we'll get you back home. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to search the ocean top to bottom for Twinkle's home. Quasi, Peso, into the guppe. Aye, 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 Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Might as well start at the top. Oh, there's all kinds of fish up here. That's because we're in the sunlight zone. The ocean is like a cake with three layers. Sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone. The sunlight zone is the top layer. Hi, it's where most sea creatures live. This doesn't look like home. And I don't see any other sea stars. Hmm, there might be some on that coral reef. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Ahoy! There be one! Wow! That's a lot of arms. Um, excuse me. Have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle here? Well, that depends. Which one of you is Twinkle? Now, if it's you... No, no. I'm a penguin. Well, that's a relief, because you'd make one silly-looking sea star. Me, me, I'm the sea star. Of course you are. Who said you weren't? Now, I'm a sunflower star myself, and... It... I'm sorry, what was the question again? Ah, have you seen a sea star that looks like Twinkle? Well, why didn't you say so? Now, let's see. Yes, I'm sure I've seen some stars that look like her. If only I could remember where. Hmm, maybe it was over there. Or, or was it there? Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. It was... Ah! A porcupine puffer. Puffers eat sea stars. Peso, quick, hide Twinkle. <gasps> Nothing here but my hat. <sighs> <sighs> oh. Phew. 
Are you okay? Yes, but now I really want to go home. Time to search in deeper water. Gosh, it's getting dark out there. That's because we're getting further from the sunlight, down into the twilight zone. It's too dark for plants to grow, but there are still plenty of animals. Including sea stars, a vast species. There's a mess of them right there. Excuse me, I see you're all sea stars. Nah, we're called brittle stars. What's it to you? We're just trying to help our friend Twinkle here find her way home. But we don't know where that is, matey. Have you seen any sea stars who look like her? Hmm, I don't know. She looks a little like my cousin Shirley. No way. She's got much shorter arms. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, sweetheart. I don't think you're from round here. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe I'll never find my way home. Don't give up, Twinkle. I've got a feeling we're getting really close to something. Yow! <gasps> Wolfield! <laughs> they eat sea stars too! <gasps> this way! looking. Phew. All right, everyone, he's gone. Let's... Oh, look at Twinkle. Wh what? Aye, oh, she's glowing. Doesn't everybody glow in the dark? <laughs> no, but most sea creatures who glow in the dark live in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. The Midnight Zone. It's safe. Back to the Gup, Octonauts. Next stop, the Midnight Zone. The Midnight Zone is completely dark. Many of the creatures who live here make their own light, just like Twinkle. Hey, this is starting to look familiar. Let me see. No, <coughs> Twinkle, don't touch that. Yeah. Hold on, Octonauts. <coughs> this could get bumpy. <coughs> <coughs> supposed to happen, right? There you go. Thank you. Where are we, Captain? Looks like we've landed at the bottom of a very deep hole in the Midnight Zone. Wow. It's really dark outside. The lights are broken. And inside, too. The engine's working, but we're not moving. The gut must be wedged in. Well then, we'll have to go out and unwedge it. Octonauts, let's put on our special deep sea suits. But it's blacker than a pirate's teeth out there. Will we have enough light to see what we're doing? Hmm. I can help with that. A little more towards this side, please, Twinkle. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, ready, Octonauts? Now, push! <laughs> Hey! Yeah! Oh, we'll stand me hotties! The gup is free, but this hole is full of twists and turns. Aye, we'll need more than the light from one little sea star to get out of here and find Twinkle's family. Flappity flippers! Well, I'll be. They look like stars. They are sea stars. Twinkle, is that you? Daddy! Mummy! Granddad! Where have you been? We were so worried. Thank goodness you're home. Everyone, these are the Octonauts. They helped me find my way home. That's right. We searched the whole ocean from top to bottom. Now, if only we could find our way home. Maybe our new friends can help us. 
Daddy, Mummy, we need to get everybody together. The whole family and all our friends. Right you are, Twinkle. Ready for lift-off, Octonauts? Aye, aye, Captain. Then let's go. We're heading home.